get started, we're first going to launch the new label document wizard. And to do that, you just use the file drop down and select new. So we'll see the new label document wizard pop up and we have three options in here. We have use current printer, native printer and windows printer. Current printer is just the default driver. Native printer is one of the embedded drivers within CodeSoft and Windows printer are all of the printers already showing up in your devices and printers or printers and faxes depending on the operating system. So any driver already installed before you even install CodeSoft is gonna show up under your Windows printers options. You can certainly use those. We do recommend to use the native printers. Um, as I said, they're all embedded in CodeSoft and they're all thermal transfer and direct thermal printers. Uh, you do get more of a WYSIWYG print when you're using these drivers in the software. There are also some added features available in CodeSoft uh, when using the native printers. It's very simple to add a native printer. You just click the Add Printer button here. A little Add Printer window pops up. And from here, you're just choosing Manufacturer, Model, and Port. It's really that simple. So you'll see a scrolling list of all the different manufacturers. You can expand these, select one of the models. And then on the right-hand side, it's how the printer is connected to the workstation. You're just choosing the ports. So there's a scrolling list of all the local ports, COM ports, LPT ports, USB ports. Below that, if you're using a UNC path, you can type that in under the network printers section. Uh, if the printer has an IP address, you can select TCP IP, put in the IP address here. And when you click OK, it will add it to the scrolling window up at the top. And you also have the option to create a new port entirely. Uh, but again, it's just manufacturer model and port. Uh, also, I want to point out that network printers and create new port, these two buttons are going to be grayed out unless you launch the software as administrator. So you just want to be cognizant of that. Once you click OK, it will add that driver to the native printer list. 